numbers we're just this is part two first thing you have to do is to go into a sonoff with uh, fit for, for um, a spooner you've got to come in here and you've got to select the basic basic model of the device and it's already connected but when you get when you ask the question what is the, the password for this thing it is Fibonacci and to log in it's admin Fibonacci and its address is 192.168.4.1 and that's off the header so if you want to know how to hook up the header it's pretty easy um, mine's always the same um, I actually use hot glue to glue the thing together and run it up to there but if you need that information it's all over the net so I'm not going to actually go over that again um, unless someone really needs it uh, and can't find it anyway then once you've done that you just have to log in and you've been uh, you'll be asked for a new password and this bit I've got to do anyway what you'd get offered is a security um, change your password so you have to change your password and then it'll boot you out and let you log back in again and gosh this is awesome I've actually got in properly so here we've got the you know status status stuff we can come down here it's got uh, Dom, Dominic's and it's got MQTT which I always use it's got a Wi-Fi connection it's got your general information which would be pretty much all your general stuff I haven't gone through all that uh, basic host name which I'll probably change uh, you've got your time set your timers so you can set servers so they're time um, I haven't played with Influx DB, but I'm going to look it up and I'll see what it actually does and if it's any good I'll be using it um, Then you got your admin as you do your password your port and your security key which In my case, I'll have changed in no time at all. Which I'll press that and generate a new one um, Enable HTTP HTTP API, well that sounds like good fun, but we'll be doing that later. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You've got to reconnect, update, so you can update it. I'll be playing with it, see what I get out of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the sky's the limit. I usually just use uh, MQTT and I'm a big fan of Node-RED. Node Red's pretty good stuff. Um, did try using Home Assistant, which isn't a bad pro product either, but I had a lot of problems with it. It wasn't as easy as um, Node Red for me, um, but other people might enjoy it. There's that uh, this thing here too that people use that as well. There's a whole host of different ones out there um, to play with, uh, but yeah. But this is the start of something. Um, I'm trying to get my um, Google Home to work with it all. So over the time, I should be able to get something done. Well, anyway, that's it from me. Um, please leave a comment if you can, comments. And please thumbs me, thumbs me up if you can. And if you didn't like it, well, just give me a negative. But just remember, I'm not actually doing this for everyone. Although I like everyone's comments, I like helping people out and that. I'm actually doing it so that I remember stuff because I've got a terrible memory. And I'm sure a lot of you have got the same thing. You know, six months down the track, you're sitting there going, how the hell did I do that? And then you're going, oh, I would have scratched my head and try and work that out all over again. And I hate doing it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys hate doing it as well. Anyway. Thanks for watching and see you later.